everyone and welcome back to my studio. Hope you're having a good day. So today we're going to play a little with the swipe, scoop and drag. I want to do something minimalist. Yes, that's me saying small amount of colors, minimalist. Not sure that's really going to work, but let's give it a try. Let's get down to the canvas. Okay, today we're going to use a Master's Touch Classic Collection 8x10 oval canvas. And we are going to use our Sherwin-Williams colors to go in agreeable gray for our background. Now, some of these colors, I am going to guess at what they are, because, you know, I forgot to mark the containers and I'm not quite positive. I will figure it out and, you know, put a little caption if I think I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure this is Harajuka Girl from Eye Candy in the color shift. This one I know is Ninja Black. These are all color shift pigments. Um, no, they're not. I'm sorry. These are all eye candy pigments. The first one was a color shift. This is just Ninja Black. This one is Macaw Blue Green. I think this is Aomodori, but it might be Fujisan. I don't know. I made both, but I can't remember which one I put in which container. You know, having one of those days. Uh, this is definitely Firebird. So, that's to add a little pop of color into the rest. Alright, we're going to get started. So, we're going to start with putting our base down. I want to spread this out a bit, but I want to make sure I leave a thicker pillow in the middle because you really need a fairly thick pillow to do scoop and drag. If your pillow is too thin, it makes it almost impossible to do a good scoop and drag because you can't get under the color. to ensure that that center section has a nice, good pillow for me. I'm not as worried out here about it being thick. Quick turn to help spread it a bit. Okay. I think initially I'm going to put some color down. Oh, I forgot. We need a cell activator. I think for this one we will use my permanent blue violet. Alright. So, thinking minimal. Minimalist. Small, small amounts. So we're just going to put a nice little coat on here. Okay, I didn't quite pull enough over on this end, but that's okay. sit up a little. I want to put a little something over here. So I'm going to put a little 
cell activator and then some color. So we just have a little one here just to give ourselves a little something out this way. Sure, I like the way that works, but we'll just pull that a little more. All right, I'm going to go to a smaller one to play. And one of the reasons you want that big pillow is so you can get way under there and then play with that. Good. Not quite as minimal as I had hoped, so we may tilt a little just so that it stays more to one side than the other. And I obviously have made a big drop over here, which we're just going to erase. Alright, I think I'm going to tilt this way a bit first, move it down that way, I'm tilting really slow so I don't distort the cells too much, and then we'll give it its first spin. spin too much because I want to still have a lot of room to play. And once I get too thin I can't play anymore. fast.
how I'm liking that. And I think I have enough paint off at this point. You can check when you tilt, look and see if it's moving and how fast it's moving, if it's moving at all. Because the last thing I want to do is leave too much paint on. Still got a bit of movement, but not too bad. We're getting there. Maybe one or two more spins. Brightness right in through here is gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to clean this up a bit, take it off the spinner, and I'll bring you down for a close up. Okay, here are our wet results. There is some gorgeous shimmer in here, especially in this center section right here. I'm not sure I can show it to you in this lighting. Let's see if we get to, oh yeah, look. See that? See that shimmer? Oh, okay. We're gonna let this dry, see how it does. Okay, this is our dry results. Now it's hard to see the shift in this light, but I'll move it so that you can see it better. But I think it came out really cute. Everything held beautifully, but let me just shift it for you here. Let's see if I can get it to shift in this light. Hold on, let me get some more light in here. All right, so here we have, there it is. You see that? See that shift in there? So look at it just right and get that. It's so hard to see this. There it is. You see that color in there? See that green popping out? It's different colors. Oh, so pretty. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell to see more videos when they're uploaded. Thank you so much for being here, and have a wonderful week.